Yeah, if you've not watched Ultimate Boxer before, where have you been? The fighters start off in four quarterfinal matchups, and the winners progress to the semis, where the final lineup will be decided, and another star will be born. Ready to go there now, get this win, come back, have a rest, get our next win. I'm ready to get that golden rope, I'm ready, ready to go. Cut the fuller. We're going to start the show with, with, with a bang, he's going to come out and show everyone what he can do. Ladies and gentlemen, we are ready for three three-minute rounds in quarter-final one. Taller figure wearing the black dress, who just been hit with a right hand, and a combination swings into the canvas. And a gangsting punch! A blistering combination, Let's go, man. That's quite so. There it is again. Same shot. Two! He gets walks right into another big left hand. And the lead. How oh, beautiful left hand once again, and that shot pulls right down to his boots. This is what Ultimate Box is all about, you know? That was just unbelievable. Oh, beautiful right hand from Robinson. Walked the advancing syrup right onto it. And that just underlined the superiority he was able to establish throughout the course of that three round contest. Smash it. Thank you, mate. Where are we going? Change it, bro. I'm ready, I've been here before, so I know what to expect. It's going to be exciting, but that's what I've trained for. Not long now before you go, what's, what's going through your mind? Just want to get in there and get out. Get in there and get out. The last semi-final place up for grabs now, Ish O'Connor and Stephen Donnelly. The elusiveness. Oh, shot. Oh, oh, good shot. Beautiful left hand. It is waved off in the opening round. And those body shots you could hit with early in the fight definitely slowed his opponent down. One of the hardest shots to be hit with in the fight. I think it's worse than being hit with a chin shot, really. We are having a brilliant night here in London, and this is how our semi final lineup looks. Lenny Fuller taking on Josh Jack Hobie. That's the semi final that's up next, followed by Sean Robinson in the blue shorts taking on the Irishman, Stephen Donnelly. Snaking shot underneath. He's not putting the trigger in. He's tagged by a beautiful right cross from the more compact Lenny Fuller. And it is Lenny Fuller who goes through to the ultimate box of five final. Two wins uh, in the final. Are you bothered about who you get? No, nah, I'm not bothered at all. I'm coming out the winner, whatever happens. But I tell the Gypsy King if he's watching this, my wife makes a good bacon pudding. He's round, welcome round anytime. <laughs> Good left hand to the body. It was a glancing shot from Donnelly, and then he burrows away with punches just above the belt line. Oh, good left hook landed from Donnelly, but look at Robinson fighting on the inside, and this one turning into a phone booth battle. Donnelly responds with a two shot combination downstairs in kind. Terrific in fighting here at short and mid range. When he's under a fire, he don't, he don't throw between the punches. Beautiful burst of punches to the body before finishing with a left hook and a terrific performance. Surely it is Stephen Donnelly. Yeah, I knew it was two rounds up, so I knew he was going to come. That's all he has to give everything. That's a big opportunity for him as it is for the rest of us, so I knew he was going to be there, and he was. He was tough. He's a good opponent as well. He's Southern Area champion, so that's a good skill for me as well. Only my sixth pro fight there, so I'm only still learning myself, so there's still loads more to come for me also. See you in the final, Don. Good man, boss. Exactly. There may be a short rest for our finalists, but we have a super lightweight knockout artist in Florian Marku, an Instagram sensation. Four wins, four KOs. Don't blink. a flashy combination got behind the left glove and there's the same shot once again and he composed he takes a hard shot to the body packs straight south of the oh. border but Marku goes right back to the torso 
Oh, there's one more body shot. And then a chopping right hand upstairs once again. See what he's doing around the temple repeatedly. Well, a terrific contest, that one. Florian Marku going the distance for the first time in his professional career. <laughs> this is the lucky dressing room, mate. All the other dressing rooms are empty now. It's, it's a bit weird that you two are sharing the same one. And this is the, the smallest one. Yeah. This is the smallest dressing room, yeah. Uh, listen, I don't care. We've sat in here. We've watched each other. We've watched each other warm up three times, so uh, or twice. So it don't bother me in the slightest. We're holding ground, so I'm staying fit. So so is he. So the best man win. Here we go then. Strap in, guys, and enjoy this because it should be brilliant. It's the final of Ultimate Boxer Five. It's Lenny Fuller against Stephen Donnelly, and it's live now. Check it down. So we're underway then. Lead right hand from Donnelly wasn't too far away. Oh, good shot right here inside by Donnelly. Oh, big right hand from Donnelly. Fuller tries to fight out of the corner, but he was stopped in his tracks. Oh, right hand is completely wiped out Fuller. He's on unsteady legs now, and he's there for the taking. Donnelly senses that, and he's pouring it on here in the second round. Reproaching the midpoint, and he's being clipped by hard shots on the chin. Fuller's got nothing left, and every shot is caught. To wilt, Ian John Lewis has intervened, having seen enough, and Stephen Donnelly climbs the turnbuckle, having prevailed here in Ultimate Box of Five. Declaring your winner, and now the Ultimate Boxer Five champion, Stephen Donnelly. Yeah, as I said before, uh, the best man will come out on top in the, in the end. And it happened to be me, but big respect to Lenny, you know, he, was, he had a great tournament tonight, but obviously I knew I was a better man and my ability showed in the end. Back to full ass, still fighting. Uh, you're very gracious yeah, in your uh, feet, mate. Yeah, listen, it's a sport, you win some, you lose some. I thought I'd give a good account for myself. Um, I got caught, cool, I, I got rocked, and I still kept fighting. I wasn't going off for no one, they was telling me to take a knee. That's not me, I'm no way. No way, I'd rather die on my feet than take a knee. Nice moment there with your, with your partner. Yeah, it was brilliant, you know, she's one, she runs me with training every day, you know, she does all the work, all the cooking, you know what? I, I just take all the credit for it, but no, she deserves all the credit, and I'm glad we're bringing that check back to the house. <laughs> you up there, Donnelly, you up there, Donnelly! Waiting for the referee to jump in, but he wasn't the door, fair play then. Back down, it's super lightweight for me. Back down, it's not so lightweight. Fair play, Thanks, boys. Oh, Oh, it's a human rights.